I did not want to wake up today. I'm not gonna lie, I actually woke up in a foul mood. Um, ignore all the plants, no, vases on the floor. Basically trying to find a home for them and didn't quite realize how many vases I actually have. So, um, yeah, but anyway, good morning, it's Monday. Um, for today, I actually am meeting Jamie because basically it's Eli's birthday tomorrow and I hadn't bought him any presents because of the stress of moving and packing and I was like well I don't want to order anything to get delivered to the Brighton flat and then have to bring it with us here because that's just like another unnecessary kind of box of things and I was like well what if he kind of sees it or he figures out what it is and stuff I was like oh I'll just do it the day before which is not normally like me so I am now it's a change of plan um I am now not meeting Jamie I mean obviously I I would happily be like oh okay it's fine I'll just stay at home and chill but I actually really need to go into like town and go shopping for Eli to buy his presents but I feel really nervous I don't know why I feel really nervous I think it's because I'm just going by myself but yeah I need to get over that so I'm trying to just tackle that and be like it's fine I'm gonna go uh do what I need to do and then come back and then I can chill um but I low-key just literally want to pop on a film and just sit indoors <laughs> but I shouldn't do that because otherwise I'm never gonna get any better or confident in going out by myself there we go also I'm trying to figure out what shops to go to to kind of minimize the amount of time I'm in town by myself so I can actually go get done as quick as I can and then come back thinking about getting him some trainers but then I'm like I don't know what trainers and then where do I go for those and I was thinking oh, I'm going to Selfridges to get them because obviously they have like so many brand trainers um but I hate Selfridges <laughs> it makes me feel so anxious and overwhelmed I just don't like it in there um it just it feels very very snobby and it's busy I, I get lost it's so big and I just yeah I don't enjoy it um but I want to get him is it Vija is it Vija that's how you pronounce it isn't it I think so but yeah well, I think I want to get him those and I mean I could definitely try you know like a shoe or a foot asylum or an office but I don't know whether they'll have them I'm sure they would right so I'm thinking trench coat because it's still lightweight but then it's an extra layer um for I me mean. and then I'll probably put on my banana bag just so like my purse and my phone are close to me and then I'll probably wear I mean I haven't got one but I'll probably wear some white New Balance trainers um and then I'll pop on some sunnies Successful, to say the least what I kind of wanted to get Eli like his main presents sold out everywhere because it was sold out everywhere I basically I'm not even kidding you when I say this I probably did about three loops I oh, like three circles of Oxford Street like literally I went started off at, like um, you know where Topshop used to be Walked down there near Tottenham Court Road, came back up 
to Bond Street to Selfridges. That was the first time I went to Selfridges. And then I went back on myself. And I was like, oh no, I need to go back this way. Honestly. Yeah. Um, anyway, I'm going to show you what I got. So the first place that I went to was Uniqlo. I remember Eli mentioning a while back that he really wanted some new socks. And as you would have seen in the clip, Uniqlo have like a wall of just different shades of socks and it was incredible. Um, you know like M&M World, it was basically like that but for socks. So I picked up <laughs> lots of socks for him. They're really nice tones. I then also got him this jacket from Uniqlo again. It's got like a really nice kind of corduroy collar. Um, and it's like a really cool kind of like workman fitted, no, workman kind of like boxy jacket. I also popped into Arcare. I got him, I got him the tote bag because he keeps using mine. So then I got him that little thing. Picked him up this really nice, it's like a charcoal gray long sleeve top. The lighting's not doing any justice, but it feels so, so soft. Whilst in Arca, I did also buy myself <laughs> these little socks. How freaking cute are they? They're like a really limey yellow colour, which I just thought was sick. I got him some Reese's cups because that's his favourite chocolate. I had to get him some wrapping paper because we don't have any. And then lastly, I had to get him a Colin the Caterpillar cake. So basically, when it comes to the bedroom, um, it's I've got a lot that I want to do to it, basically. It's very dark, isn't it? Should I try and brighten you up a little bit? Is that a bit better? Um, yeah, it's quite... It's not there. It's not 100% what I want. You know, it's, it's fine. But basically, we've kind of figured out, like, if we tuck the dark kind of blackout fabric curtains into like one corner behind the chair it really just brightens up the room instead of having them like each side of the window does that make sense like i don't know it just makes the room like feel more brighter and more bigger um okay i'm gonna give you a quick outfit of the day apologies if i'm a bit echoey i'm in the hall um but the t-shirt is from Topshop. I never really tend to wear these anymore because I just don't really like the quality of it, I think, or like the material of this one. It's just a bit more thinner, like you can literally see the shape of my bra. The linen shirt, believe it or not, it's from Amazon. This, I think it was like 15 or 20 quid, I can't remember. It was actually um, gifted to me because I did a campaign with Amazon last year. Um, but I think it's still available, I'll try and link it below. But I got it in a size 16. It was either a size 14 or 16, but just to make it a bit more kind of like oversized, which is perfect. The belt is from the Lair store. I have two of these. I've, this one's got a really nice kind of gold buckle on it. And then I also have one which has a silver one. Um, they are my new go-to belts. Um, and then my jeans are from Monkey. I'm gonna step back so you can see a full length. I mean, I'm wearing slippers. Can you see them? I mean, I feel so far away. But they're quite a nice length. Um, especially like if you want to wear boots with them. You probably would have seen them on my reel that I did for Monkey last month. Um, so yeah, these were gifted to me for the campaign that I did. So yeah, that is the other day. And then I've also got my gross slippers. But I have actually ordered some new slippers which I am so excited for them to arrive. These ones are minging. I've had them for about, god I can't even remember but they're like, you know when the uh, the insole bit is like grey. It is so bad. Um, so I am definitely in need of some new slippers. So yeah they will be arriving next week which I'm so excited about. So I basically bought this uh, 
photo album from Paper Chase. But basically, I've been using disposable cameras quite a lot because I just personally love having the physical images to kind of look back through of all these kind of like moments that we've just captured. And um, But they were just being kind of living in this paper bag and I thought, no, it's time I actually got a proper photo album. But I, tr I tried finding photo albums on Amazon and they were all like patterned or like with like leaves or love hearts on them and I was like, no, no, I don't like it. And then they were actually quite expensive as well. So this one is from Paper Chase, like I said. It's a really nice kind of craft brown material. Um, I know you just fit four on each page and, ooh, oh, if I break it then, Jesus. Um, it fits 200, 200 photos, right? And it was only 12 pounds. Like, that's so good. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna pop all our photos in here so they're all in one place and they're all kind of like safe and looked after. appreciate my new slippers these are my new slippers which are from Birkenstock honestly I love them they're proper like granddad vibes and they are the comfiest things ever I will link them below they are like a wool felt kind of material I got these in the color eggnog um because I didn't really want gray but then I didn't want cream and I think these are a really nice kind of balance in between so they're like a nice beige color and um, the sole's a bit weird trying to balance on one leg here <laughs> um but yeah like it's a bit weird but i'm going for it love it i think these are 60 pounds which probably are a bit expensive for slippers but they are very very comfortable anyway how are we all doing um very hungry really peckish craving a join the juice movie I used to get a Joe and the Juice smoothie all the time in Brighton. It was really bad. Sorry, my lips are so dry. I need to just get some Vaseline. Um, sorry, as I was saying, yeah, I used to get Joe and the Juice delivered all the time in Brighton. And I don't know why. I just haven't felt the urge to do it here. I don't know why. In my head, I was like, do you know what? As much as I love delivery, I probably need to get out of that habit. So, I actually bought some vanilla milk, some strawberries, and bananas to attempt to make my own. It's probably going to be not as good, but we are going to try. So, I'm actually just going to check the weight of the strawberries that I've cut. So then, if I want to make this again, like I know next time how many to do. I'm just going to do that for the time being and then kind of judge it at the end I think I'm then just gonna measure out um, how much vanilla milk I'm putting in again for the same reasons just so like I know next time you know if I need to improve it if I need to do less if I need to do more I think maybe maybe 350 for today Let's 
do the taste test. I think I probably, I think I definitely did too much vanilla milk because I've still got a lot left over. Um, and just from like visual as well, it's not as pink as the actual gin juice, so maybe I kind of was lacking some strawberries, but we'll try. It's so close, it's so close. Um, it is a lot thinner than the actual gin juice, so I think maybe less vanilla milk. So maybe instead of 350, I do 300 or 250. Um, but then saying that I actually need more strawberries, I think, because I'm not really getting much of a strawberry taste. It's very banana and vanilla -y, which still tastes really, really nice. But um, it's not, I think, yeah, add more strawberries and a little less milk, and then we're there. It's not bad. I'm pretty chuffed with that. We'll try again tomorrow, I think. I've just received, like, the loveliest parcel from Mum and Dad, and I have to share with you. Basically, to start things off, there's a Christmas card in here because they know how much I love Christmas. Um, and Mum went into the store and she saw all these Christmassy sweets and chocolate and she was like, Chloe, she knows how much I love Christmas anyway. And she was like, I have to get them for Chloe. Um, and one thing that Mum does, whenever she sends a parcel of like a few goodies, she goes like above and beyond basically. She's got me the snowy chocolate fingers, mince pie, chocolate digestive biscuits, which I have never tried or heard of before. So I'm very excited about those. She's got me jingly bells hazelnut cream. Honestly, it, it keeps going. She's got me mini snowballs, which are a favourite. I always have these every year. I love those. Um, she's got me... <laughs> The Kit Kat Santas Wine Gums Frosted, which, oh, they're, they're wine gums but in a sugar coating. She also got me Jelly Babies Snowmen, Cadbury's Festive Friends. We've also got some Christmas tree tortilla chips here. There's still more. She then got me a mini Kit Kat Santa. She got Eli a dairy-free reindeer, another chocolate free from reindeer. Winter Wonderland edition chocolate bar, which is this one. The gingerbread edition. Um, and then lastly, they actually went on holiday and they brought back these Haribo sweets, which are a very big bag. They, this is heavy. This is like 700 grams worth of Haribos. This is a big, heavy bag. Anyway, how sweet is that? And it's made me really, really excited for Christmas as well now. It's not far away, guys. It's not far away. But yeah, today has been a pretty successful day. It's been pretty productive. I'm quite happy with that. It started off miserable and grey. Um, it's actually quite nice and sunny. We have Eli's brother coming up on Sunday. And I think he's going Tuesday. Um, so he's here for like two or three days. Um, it's going to be really, really nice. Eli is off tomorrow, which is going to be so lovely. It's weird that he's not in the flat. I'm just, I'm still not used to it. I'm nothing without you. I'm nothing without you. I'm nothing without. Girl, I'm lost without you. I swear I'm lost without you. All I think about is I'm nothing without you. I'm nothing without you. I'm nothing without you. Girl, I'm lost without you. I swear I'm lost without you. All I think about is you. Cause baby, fine like wine. Now her spirits all in my mind. Couldn't have shown up better, better time.